Hi everyone, Mr. Morgan Lewis here at the school. In this video, we're going to go through two ways in which you can get to your feet very, very fast. So this is a continuation from when we were talking about the sideways and backwards break falls. Well, now we're answering the question where, well, how do I get to my feet very, very fast? And uh, what's really important is one main word, and that is momentum. You need to use momentum as much as possible. Now, before we go into this, one of the ways we're not going to do is the kick up which is where you go from your back straight onto your legs because not it takes a long time to master that so you need something that's quite accessible and you know ready for you there and there all right so the first way we're going to go through is based off of the uh, sideways breakfall both both of these uh, breakfalls we covered um, will actually allow you to access either one of these these um, these movements but we're going to go through this one from the side position so let's say that you've gone down and you're here okay if you remember from, from the previous video i was talking about kicking the leg out as a defense well we're actually going to use that as an offense and a defense so what's going to happen is i've got myself here my target's coming towards me okay i've got my hand shielding i've got my leg here and when it comes to this position if you need to give yourself time and your target's moving around you, it's simply a case of pivoting yourself around and keeping your leg in this position. Because if someone tries to get you while you're down and your leg happens to be there and you kick them, that's entirely up to them, okay? You've used that as a defense mechanism. So use your legs, don't be afraid to do so. All right, they shouldn't have put you down in the first place. So what we're gonna do is use this motion to push you up with a backup push from my elbow but as I do it, okay, I'm gonna have my hand down and this one here. We don't put both hands down because as soon as we do that, we leave ourselves open. We need one arm covering us as we're trying to stand up. Now, when it comes to getting off of the floor, one main principle is no matter what it takes, get to yourself, to your feet as quick as you can because being in this position can be quite dangerous, all right? So regardless of how many shots you take on the way up, you get to your feet as fast as possible. It's the number one rule. So, we're here. So, hand down, okay? And we're gonna use the kicking action to lift us up. So it's like this. Okay, so if I try and lift myself without extending my leg, it's requiring a lot more core and I'm actually having to physically push myself up. Whereas if I kick my leg out and lift my shoulder, that does it for me, okay? My hand is here. So from here, what you do is you go like so. Okay, now you push up with this hand and then you get this foot like this. Then you can bring both hands into defense. And then that's where you either push back with your hands or cover up and stand. But what you do is you get yourself back into position. So from here, we're already down. Boom. Okay, so we start off with our hand like this, our arm covering us. We kick the leg as we lift. Okay, now as we start to regain our balance here, what we do is move the hand and we uncurl our foot. So what we're in now is in a, almost like a lunge, I guess. Okay, but we're here, because now it means we can bring both hands in and then we stand ourselves up into position. Okay, so let's do it a little bit faster this time. Okay, so from here it's like so, here and here. And if you do that and practice it quite a bit, it will become more natural to do so. Okay, so that's how to go from that, that angle. I'll show you on this angle this time because some of you might be more, um, uh, have more practice on one side than the other. So, we start off. So, first principle, hand, leg, cover. Kick your leg out, okay? Lift your shoulders, push off with your hand. Okay, then uncurl your leg, bring your hand up to guard. And then stand yourself up and do what you've got to do. Okay? Now, the other way that we can do this is a bit more dramatic. But it's a very good way to do it because it basically makes you untouchable until you're able to come to your feet. And the reason I say that is because um, whilst you're doing this move, anyone that tries to attack you whilst you're doing it run a huge risk of getting hurt. Okay? So we want to use that. So again, we're gonna start from the side position. It can be done from the backwards position as well. Doesn't really matter too much. You can pick whichever one you want to do it on. But on this one, 
and follow the principles very, very carefully. This one's a little bit more complicated. So we start off here. So instead of going forward with momentum, we're going to go backwards with momentum and it will allow us to get to our feet quickly. So when we do this next one, okay, from here, what you need to do is you need to get one leg to kick over. Now, you've got to aim to get your toes to try and touch the mat here or the, the space behind you. And you use the momentum of that plus the kick up of your hips. Okay, so don't rely on just swinging your leg because your flexibility will only get you so far on that. From here, you need to kick your hips off the ground as you do that. Now, if you practice that by itself, you'll notice straight away that your leg wants to keep going until you bring it back down. Okay, now, as you do that, what we need to then do is bring ourselves across and bring this hand across like this. So the opposite hand going where the foot's going. So it's like this. Now, you notice when I do that, I pretty much want to start going. But here's the, here's the tricky part. When you do it, if you stop, you'll go on your side like that, and next thing you know, you're in a bigger, bigger problem, all right? You've got to set, you've got to try and kick your hips over the top of you, okay? So you go like this, and it's here. Now, from here, what happens is you roll out of it onto your hands, and then you get to here, like so, okay? So it's a little bit more tricky, this one. It needs a bit more practice, but it's doable, okay? So... From here, leg goes over. Whichever side goes, that's the shoulder you're going on to, okay? So I'm going leg over, hand across, all right? Go over the top, here. Now you see this hand? It's just on the floor still, it's curled out now. And then I bring it up and then stand. Now, when I do this movement, I treat it as if I'm doing a kick, like a front kick or a swinging kick. So. From here, anyone's coming towards me, whoop, leg goes up. You use the momentum to kick you back. So it's opposite hand, cross like that, leg goes like this, chin tucked in, and you've got to roll onto your shoulder, like that. And then we're here, and then we stand ourselves up, okay? So as I said, that one's going to take a bit more practice, but there's the basic uh, way to do it. So one more time. So, leg goes over, okay? Hand follows, like this, okay? Get onto your shoulder, then straight away, push up with your hands onto your feet. So it's here, here, up, and onto your feet as quick as possible, okay? Give those a go, and uh, let us know how you get on in the comments. And you, what you can do is you can take it with the uh, previous video we went through, talking about the break falls, and pair them together. So you can do a break fall straight into a stand up, and Honestly, practice that as much as possible. It's a good idea to practice it with a partner standing in front of you, so at least you've got something to aim for or to angle your body around the right way. Okay, just make sure you don't kick each other. <laughs> but enjoy, take care of yourselves, and uh, as always, happy training.